When using plyometric jump training, it is critical that ground contact times are correct for the exercise you have chosen. Even a difference of 50 milliseconds can mean less effective training and increased risk of injury. The solution to this problem is to use objective measurement and real-time feedback. A red light means their contact time is too long and they need to be spending less time on the ground. Within two to three sets of jumping, real-time feedback provides athletes with a feeling of exactly what is required for your chosen exercise. And this is backed up after the set with jump-by-jump -jump data of what actually happened in the set. Now that the athlete is jumping with an appropriate contact time, the next step is to ensure that they are applying maximum power to the jump while still maintaining the correct contact times. For this, we introduce secondary feedback. When they reach the correct height, they receive a blue light to show that they have reached the goal height. The combination of green and blue lights means the athlete is jumping with good power output, but still within the safe and effective contact time zone.